In this video, I will introduce the method of logarithmic differentiation. We use this to take the derivative of a function raised to the power of another function. I will illustrate logarithmic differentiation with an example. I consider this function f, defined by f of x equals cosine x raised to the power of sine x, and I want to take its derivative. The first thing to notice is that this function is not merely a power or an exponential. What do I mean by that? A power could be a function that depends on x only on the base, and the exponent is a number. For example, x cubed. And I know how to take its derivative, that's what the power rule tells me. I could also have a power composed with a different function. For example, cosine cube of x, which is simply cosine of x to the cube. And I know how to take the derivative of this function as well. I just combine the power rule with the chain rule. On the other hand, an exponential could be a function that depends on x in the exponent, but the base is a constant, is a number. For example, 2 to the x. And again, I have a formula to take derivatives of functions like this. I know the derivative of 2 to the x is 2 to the x times ln 2. And again, I could have a function like this composed with something else. For example, 2 raised to the sine of x. And to take its derivative, I could use this rule together with chain rule. The problem with my original function is that it isn't any one of those. Neither the base nor the exponent is a constant, they both depend on x. So none of these rules by itself tells me what to do. I'm going to present two methods to take care of this, which are actually the same method in disguise. The first method consists of using this identity that allows me to rewrite any power exponential as an exponential with base e. Why is this useful? Because I know how to take the derivative of an exponential with base e. In our case, this function can be rewritten as e to the sine x times logarithm of cos x. And once I have it this way, yes, I know how to take the derivative. This is an exponential of a function. So the derivative will be itself times the derivative of the exponent. And now I can rewrite this as it was originally. And to take this derivative, I will use the product rule. And that's it. Perhaps we can simplify it a little bit. But that was the first method. The second method is the one we call logarithmic differentiation. Here is the function whose derivative I want to take. And the difficulty is in having this exponent here. So before I do anything, I'm going to begin by taking logarithms of both sides. This is a good idea because logarithms simplify many operations. They turn products into sums, quotients into differences, and powers into products. So using the properties of logarithms, I can rewrite this as logarithm of f equals sine x times logarithm of cos x. And look, the exponent has disappeared entirely. Now that the exponent is gone, I can take derivatives of both sides much more easily. On the left-hand side, I no longer have just f, I have ln f, but I can take the derivative using implicit differentiation. And on the right-hand side, I have to take the derivative of this product, so just use product rule. If this feels familiar, it's not an accident. It's exactly the same derivative I computed in method one. And finally, I can solve for f prime of x, which is what I wanted. And that's it. The answer is the same as in method one. 